Cuando san? Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Clara that lived with her mother. Clara only had one dress and one pair of shoes because they were poor. Her shoes were a size too small. One day, Clara and her mum went for a walk in the countryside. Mommy, mothers give birth to children, but where do the flowers come from? Clara, when the people we love leave this world, they turn into flowers. That's why flowers smell good to remind us of the people we love. Don't pick them, just smell them. What a beautiful story, Mom. You smell like a flower too. The next day, Clara went out to play. She found a beautiful pair of red shoes next to the trash can. She took them and ran home. Mom, look what I found. They are beautiful, aren't they? Clara, put those shoes back where you find them. They are not yours. But whoever owned them left them next to a trash can. I don't think it's a good idea to keep them. There is something odd about those shoes. Now, go back and leave them where you found them. Clara was sad, so she brought the shoes back to where she had found them. The next day, Clara's mother turned into a beautiful flower. Clara was later adopted by an old woman. The old woman was kind and loved Clara very much. Years passed and Clara grew up to be a beautiful young lady. However, she was stubborn and disobedient. Clara, I prepared broccoli soup for you. Come on, let's eat. No, I don't want to eat. Taste it, please. I'm sure you'll like it. No, no, no! Oh, Clara, don't be so difficult. Mother, my shoes are too small and my feet hurt. We should buy new ones. All right, Clara. Let's go shopping and buy you a new pair of shoes. They went shopping. Clara was mesmerized by the red shoes she saw on display. They were almost identical to the ones that her mum didn't allow her to keep years earlier. I want these! Let's get these! Clara, we can buy only one pair of shoes. Red doesn't match all your clothes. Let's buy black ones instead. No, no, I want red shoes. I don't want any other. Buy the red shoes or I'll walk barefoot all the time. You are stubborn indeed. Well then, let's go get them. Clara left the store wearing her new red shoes. She 
was so happy on her way home that she started dancing joyfully. Dear Clara, you got the red shoes. But what are you going to wear tomorrow at Mr. Peter's funeral? I'm going to wear this pair. Nobody will notice. Don't worry. of my red shoes. Mother, I'll dance my way home. Clara, wait for me. I can't reach you. Wait, you will and me, me, so I'll keep dancing. I, I can't stop myself. What's going on? Help me! Help! Clara couldn't remove the shoes and kept dancing. The shoes had a mind of their own and guided where she would go. She continued dancing for three days and three nights. She was far away from home and her feet were bruised. She was hungry and thirsty. I wish I hadn't been so stubborn or disobeyed mother. I promise I won't ever be defiant ever. Red shoes, stop. Please, I've learned my lesson. Suddenly, the red shoes stopped and Clara stopped dancing. Get off my feet now! Clara walked home through the forests and rivers with her injured feet. Until she finally reached home. Clara, daughter, I was worried sick. Fortunately, you're back home safe and sound. I'm so tired and very hungry. I want to eat and go to bed. There is broccoli soup, but you don't like it. Let me prepare something else right away. That's okay. I'll eat the soup. I promised myself that I would no longer be stubborn. This is how I was able to get rid of the red dancing shoes. Oh, Clara, I'm so happy to hear that. More stubbornness, I promise, Mother. Hey guys, subscribe to our channel Kondosan and watch the most popular fairy tales, cartoons, and nursery rhymes. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications.